Hey everybody, I've got a ton of stuff that I just bought today and last week I went to Michael's too and found some really cool stuff. So um, the first thing I got was this glue pot and it is, um, it's just a heating element and it's supposed to melt um, hot glue sticks um, for whatever. But I figured, hey, with my 50% off coupon, it was like three bucks and to see if it would work um, with UD and such. And it does, it worked amazing. So it'll melt UD and it didn't come with a lid, but I had like a coaster that I'd covered with some paper and I just covered it up with the coaster, it's perfect size. And I got these coasters at Michael's too. So if you wanna spend the 15 to 30 bucks that the melting pot is, this works fine. So um, this little heating element thing here is kind of a pain in the butt, but whatever it still works it was three bucks so i got that and i have been eyeballing this stamp set forever and i finally got it um i also used a 50 percent off coupon there um and this is kelly panacci i don't know if i'm saying that right but it's just a bunch of time pieces um and a couple of freezes and some decorative um, hands. So I love this stuff. Set. So I finally got it. Um, and I think it was like six bucks with my, after my coupon. And then I found these frames in the wedding clearance. So it's a dollar ninety nine for a whole bunch of them. So I think there's 10 in here. Um, and they're white. So they'll be easy to, um, to alter a little bit. I don't want to talk right now. No, buzz off. These were also in the clearance area, um, the celebrated rose petals, and these are kind of a ecru color. So I grabbed these. And I think that's really it for what I got at Michael's. Their um, garlands are on sale, 60% off, and I like to use the garlands for flowers on my... Um, scrapbooks instead of the paper ones. Went to Big Lots and got some envelopes because I was running out of those. My husband got mad at me because I used up his... Oh, here's something else I got at Michael's a week or two ago. Um, it's a push mold and it's all these travel things. There's a suitcase, which is really why I bought it, um, and a camera. But um, I use a lot of poly clay, so I thought that would be fun to make some little charms. And it was a dollar forty nine. Oh, they have these Studio G um, little ink pads there too for 50 cents. And these are my favorites to do on direct to paper um, ink distressing because they're real soft and squishy. And I love these ink pads. And then Sarah May's sister was going to throw this away. This is like eyeshadow, but it's pure mica. <laughs> so tons of colors on here. Um, and she's psycho for wanting to throw this away. So Sarah grabbed her before she stopped, before she, um, had a chance. And this stuff is so glittery and sparkly and just pretty. So we're going to use that for paint or something. Oh, what else did I get? I went to Hobby Lobby today. Got some bunnies for my kiddos. And um, their Easter stuff was 80% off. So I got this little purple feather boa, and this was considered Easter craft. So this was two bucks for all these dimensional tulip paints, and these don't have glitter on them like my other ones do. Um, I was running out of pearl metallic paint, so I grabbed another thing of that. Um, I ran out of my little self-sealing storage bag, so I grabbed a pack of those. I am totally loving these clay flowers. They're having a bridal event again. Um, so I grabbed a bunch of these clay flowers. Um, but they are so easy to paint. Um, the eyeshadow trick works really awesome with these. Um, here is... Let me see if I can find that stem that I did. Uh, it's gone. I don't know where it is. Oh, well. Oh, well, here's one. 
I took this one off the stem and I don't know if you can see that shine but this is just pink eyeshadow uh, that I used an aqua pen to paint on this little clay rose and the stem had I think between eight and ten of these clay blooms um, for $1.47 and it was half price so these I got because I thought they would be cool to be centers of flowers um, so I'm gonna paint those up this um, was in the art department and it was $1.19 for 12 of these colored book binding so grab that these are super cool um, they're called kidney ear wires and there's four pieces in there, but they kind of look like um, wire kilt pens. So, like that. And it was 88 cents. And this is what I'm most excited for right here. Because I'm going to try. This is a um, carving block. It's a rubber carving block. It's so very soft, squishy. Um, and I'm going to try to make some of my own stamps. Cause there's some stuff that I really just want and I don't have them and that really annoys me so I'm just going to make a couple of my own uh, if I can find my carving tools which no clue where they are if not I'll just go buy some more they're on sale this week too but this huge thing it's a four by six uh, four by six by three quarters and I think I'm even gonna try since it's three quarters thick I'm gonna try to cut it in half so I'll have two of these blocks. I don't really need it to be this thick. But that'll be fun. I cannot wait to try carving my own stamps. It's going to be fun. Where else did I go today? I went to Tuesday mornings. I had to pick up some of this Tim Holtz stuff. And they were hiding it. So I first one went down the craft aisle. Um, they didn't have them there. And I was really upset. And Sarah May found it on an cap. So I got the stripes of the, um, the grunge board. I love these flourishes. These are my favorites. So I grabbed these and it came with the numbers. And Sarah May grabbed the pack that had the letters and um, just the circle, the basic shapes. So we have those. Super excited about that. And here's something I found at Michael's a couple of weeks ago. I thought this would be fun on a wedding it's a it's Irish cheer cheer is what it says on here but I figure I could just cover up the label and personalize the label a little bit for a wedding book or um, a night out with friends book or something so to have a little champagne bottles would be fun and that was 90% off so I think I only paid like a dime for that and I'm totally loving these glues um, it is adhesive tech a fine line the glue you can write with I've never tried writing with it, but it is a fine line. Um, I have been using the crap out of this. In fact, I think it's on Sarah May's side of the table. Um, but these were 89 cents. So I grabbed a couple more. I do like them. They dry quick. It is clear. Um, so awesome. Like these. And I think that is it that I got. Oh, I did get some stuff from eating. I got three of these eight ounce um, embossing powders. Now when I bought them, when I hit bid, I was thinking these were UDs, but they're not UDs. It's the fine clear stuff, but I use a ton of clear embossing powder anyway. So, um, but there were three of these eight ounce jars for five bucks. So that was a, a steal. I'm so excited about that. Um, love eBay. There's nothing I don't love on eBay. So I am almost done with the ATC tags thingies that I'm doing for um, Life on the Scrap Beach. And I've never really done this before, an ATC before. So it has a kind of a learning curve and I've really enjoyed doing it. It's been a lot of fun. Let me grab one real quick. And I'll have to make some room here. Do a little bit more stuff. But here is the um, card. And I used some Can Company paper. Um, some little flowers and a doily here, some vintage seam binding around the top. And I tried to make this um, usable in a mini. So even though my, my information is down here, I use repositionable adhesive. So it'll pull off without, it's not a permanent bond. Um, I did include a little haiku that I wrote too. So the haiku just slides in here 
it can be removed and a picture can be taken or put in in the little doily there. Um, I'm going to put some fibers and a charm or two in the eyelet as well. I just haven't gotten to that yet. So there's that. I like the way it turned out, especially this doily. The doily turned out amazing. So pretty. So that's that. All right. Thanks, guys. I will have the um, more detailed tag or ATC video up probably within the next couple of days or so. Um, thanks, guys. Later.